Unlock the secret of singular possessive nouns. Hello everyone. Today we are going to explore an interesting topic that will take your English grammar skills to the next level. Singular possessive nouns. This is a key aspect of English language, enabling us to express ownership or association clearly and efficiently. First, let's understand what a possessive noun is. A possessive noun is used to show ownership, control, relationship, or association. It gives us the information about who or what owns or possesses something. Let's look at an example. John's car is blue. Here, John's is a possessive noun. It tells us that the car belongs to John. So, how do we form a singular possessive noun? The general rule is quite simple. We just add an apostrophe and an S, S, at the end of a singular noun. For instance, dog becomes dogs, child becomes child's, Sarah becomes Sarah's. These possessive nouns respectively signify something that belongs to the dog, child, or Sarah. Now that we know how to form singular possessive nouns, it's important to understand how to use them correctly in a sentence. Here are a few examples. 1. The dog's bone is hidden under the sofa. 2. The child's toy is in the playroom. 3. Sarah's book is on the table. In each of these sentences, the singular possessive nouns, dogs, child's, Sarah's, indicate who the bone, toy, and book belong to. While the rule of adding S is straightforward, there are a few special cases you should be aware of. When a singular noun ends in S, we usually add S to form the possessive. For example, Charles becomes Charles's. However, in formal writing, sometimes only the apostrophe is added. Charles becomes Charles's. Both forms are generally accepted, but be sure to adhere to any specific guidelines you are given. Understanding and using singular possessive nouns effectively can greatly enhance your English language skills, making your conversations and writing more precise and understandable. Keep practicing the rules we've discussed today and you'll master this in no time. Thanks for joining me today, and as always, happy learning!